All right, John, let's go through the numbers, the tail of the tape for the Bellator 258 main event. As simple as it can be, you can look at all those things, and that's a nice young age for Sergio Pettis, and the height and the weight, and everything's close to the same. 25 and 2 for Juan Archuleta, 20 and 5 for Sergio Pettis. These guys are two of the best. Speaking of the best, here's Michael C. Williams. Bellator MMA Live on Showtime from Mohegan Sun Arena. The time has come for the main event of the evening. Five five-minute rounds for the Bellator Bantamweight World Championship. Sanctioned by the Mohegan Tribe Department of Athletic Regulation Chairman James Gessner, President of Sports and Entertainment Tom Cantone, Chief of the Mohegan Tribe Lynn Malerba, and Supervising at Cage Side Director Mike Mazzulli. And now, first, we introduce the blue corner. At five foot six, weighing in 134 and three quarter pounds, the number one ranked contender as a professional enters with 20 wins, five losses from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, presenting the challenger, SP Sergio Pettis. Let's go. Let's go. And across the cage, the champion fights out of the red corner at five foot seven, Woo! weighing in 135 pounds hey, even in his first title defense. He stands tonight with 25 professional victories, just two defeats, fighting out of Hesperia, California, introducing the defending Bellator Bantamweight World Champion, Juan the Spaniard Archuleta. In charge, your referee, Kevin McDonald. Fighters to the center, please. Gentlemen, this is five rounds under the unified rules for the belt. Want a good, clean fight? If you'd like, touch gloves now. Best of luck to you. Referee Kevin McDonald with final instructions. We are set for a possible five rounds for that, the Bellator Bantamweight Championship. Ready to fight? Ready to fight? Let's go. The bell, round one, the champion Archuleta in the red gloves, the challenger Pettis in the blue gloves. And already, Archuleta on the move. That is his style that is not going to change. He, you're going to see big movements. He moves back and forth, but it's when he takes those steps inside, he'll actually change stance from orthodox to south paw and back as he comes forward. Archuleta fighting out of the training lab, HB Ultimate and Gracie Baja, while Pettis represents Rufus Sport. Exchange. Of course, Pettis facing a murderer's row at 125 pounds in UFC, John, but now here at 135 pounds, undefeated in Bellator, riding a three-fight win streak. Well, he fought the best of the best there was at 125, but it got to a point where Sergio was just too big for the 125-pound weight class, did not want to fight at that. He wanted to move up to band weight, and he was able to do that when he came over to Bellator, and he's happy at this weight class. Kick by Pettis. They're going to shave the whiskers <laughs> of the champion. Good level change by Archuleta. Looks for the takedown immediately. Pettis attacking the neck. Attacking that neck. You see that right now, Juan going towards that single leg, almost towards a high crotch. Just needs to pull his head out for this to be able to work. And you're seeing Pettis maintaining that position on his head, putting weight down and keeping him heavy. Two of Pettis's four submission wins have come via guillotine choke, but right now just trying to thwart the takedown attempt by Juan Archuleta. Yeah, there's definitely no guillotine attempt right now. He's just looking at defending this takedown. Archuleta needs to switch it up, go from the single into that high crotch pull, then shoot to the double. The more that he can transition and chain those techniques together, the more effective one of them will be. Head in there, head fight, head fight now, head fight. Uh -huh. Aggressive. Good, good, good. 
Archuleta began wrestling at the age of three, as we showed you tonight, comes from a family of wrestlers. Nice elbows by Sergio Pettis in defense of that takedown. You see him Juan try to step to his left to try to stop that attack. And again, Archuleta looking for the takedown and Pettis able to escape circle and to reset. Two minutes left here in the opening round. That right there makes Sergio Pettis feel pretty good about himself because he's like, okay, you tried, you know, got in tight, got in deep, and I was able to defend it off. That's a good feeling for Sergio Pettis. Counter right hand by the challenger Pettis. A minute 45 left here in the opening round as the champion Archuleta looking to make use of every single inch of real estate in that Bellator MMA cage. Duke Rufus calling for an up a jab from Sergio Pettis. Oh, nice, nice counter right hand by Pettis. Beautiful counter right hand. Archuleta did a nice job going to the body, but as he exited, that left hand was down, and Sergio was able to counter with a solid right hand. Lead left by the champion, Archuleta. There's a left, nice, lead left nice. hook by nice Pettis, and a right hand down the middle by the challenger. Under a minute left here in the opening round. This is what we were talking about, that sharpshooting style. He's okay. very tight. Right hand lands for Pettis. So Pettis with a good striking effort here in the uh, first round. 45 seconds left. Archuleta continuing to go to the body. That's That paid dividends for him against Patchy Mix. We'll see if that happens in this fight against Pettis. Thus far here in the first round, that jab has definitely paid dividends for Sergio Pettis, opening up opportunities to throw the combination. And there's Archuleta attacking the lead leg inside and outside. Nice elbow in the swing back by Sergio Pettis. That landed. And Archuleta was looking to get his hooks and looks to get the takedown, does so, but time runs out. Wow. Well, the challenger Pettis says that Archuleta reminds him a lot of T.J. Dillashaw. We just heard from T.J. Dillashaw in Archuleta's corner. Round two. The bell and round uh, number two scheduled for five for the Bellator Bantamweight belt. My scorecard right now, looking at that first round, think of all the shots that Pettis was able to put when, he went. you saw Archuleta trying to take him down, the elbows to the head, and then the clean strikes that he was able to land at times. I give Sergio Pettis that first round, 10-9. Archuleta getting to increase his offensive output, using angles to Close the distance before launching his attack. That's a nice feint on that takedown attempt right there. That's going to get Sergio's hands moving up and down. That's when you're going to see Juan taking advantage of him reacting to that feint. I do like the fact of what I'm seeing from Pettis as far as the way that he's actually dealing with the movement. There's Archuleta. the takedown by Archuleta. Continue, John. That's a good takedown, but you, what you were seeing is Pettis is taking as few as steps as possible. He's just basically pivoting his body, pivoting his feet, and he was able to just be very calm with all that movement that Juan Archuleta is putting out. But it was a nice takedown by Juan Archuleta. Now, as Sergio's trying to work his way to get towards that cage so he can get back to his feet. And Pettis is back to his feet, but the champion Archuleta has his back. Attacking the leg. Pettis turns in and disengages. And that's a normal thing for Archuleta to actually disengage and try to land a strike on that exit. Mm -hmm. Two minutes gone here in the second. Archuleta from the, well, was Southpaw, now back to Orthodox. Jab, pops his head back. 
you're really starting to see that Sergio is really getting confident in his counter strikes. He's waiting for Juan to make that attack, and then he's countering with beautiful strikes, left and right hand, especially a big right hand, and now go, actually bringing kicks into the equation. Midway point of the second round. Encouraging Pettis not to be backed up by the champion Archuleta, and Pettis is holding his ground. Now, did you see how Pettis stepped to the outside of Archuleta, which stopped that progression of him being able to move to his right? And then Archuleta automatically is going back to the left. Got it's a right hand by Pettis. Pettis is the guy that's, he's the one really controlling this movement right now. There's no doubt that Pettis watched what Patricio Pitbull did in his fight with Juan Archuleta and how he stopped a lot of the movement of Juan. And he's taking that same page and how he's doing the, what he's doing with his hands, what he's doing with his footwork. Sharp jabs by Pettis throughout this fight. Minute and a half remaining in the second. Sweeping left hook caught the champion. There's a jab and a nice right hand to the body by Archuleta. Go for it, go for it. 21. One minute, one minute. One minute. One minute. Nice counter right hand. Another counter right hand by Sergio Pettis and blood now on the face of Archuleta under a minute remaining in the second round. Yeah. Right now Pettis is being very accurate with those counters. He's getting just a little bit ahead movement, getting out of the way of what Juan Archuleta is throwing, and then giving that nice counter. One, two by Archuleta that landed, then went to the body, but Pettis again quick to pull the trigger on the counter, timing it well. 30 seconds left here in the second round. Archuleta back, self up, orthodox. Pettis doing the same thing and doing a great job of avoiding the champion's offensive rush. Beautiful hook there by Archuleta. Nice hook. That right hand of Sergio Pettis is making a difference in this fight right now. And Archuleta looks for the takedown of the belt. Now three. This is round number three, scheduled for five for the Bellator Bantamweight Championship. Archuleta defending the title for the first time against the challenger, Pettis, who's in the blue gloves. And you see, Archuleta, the, the patterns that you've seen out of the likes of TJ Dillashaw. Again, another person who has very deft footwork, dominant grooves. Nice right hand by both guys. Archuleta landed the right hand, Sergio landed the right hand counter. It takes a very disciplined fighter to be able to deal with that type of footwork and movement from Archuleta. It's because Sergio Pettis has been doing this for so long, and is so comfortable in that stand-up range that he's able to deal with this type of movement. Yeah, Pettis turned pro three weeks after he turned 18. <laughs> 27 now. Well, at least he waited until he was an adult. <laughs> a minute gone here in the third. Archuleta going back and forth from Southpaw to Orthodox. Pettis missed with that right hand, flashes the jab. There's a good combination that landed for Archuleta, and then the counter right from Pettis. That is exactly right. Archuleta did land, but the best shot out of that entire grouping was the right hand by Pettis. Nice jab by Pettis. Oh, the good jab by Archuleta. So they're beginning to 
tag each other. Another sharp jab by Archuleta. And there's a left hook and a right hand splitting the guard for Bettis. High level, high stakes. Nice foot kick by Pettis coming up. Both guys are really starting to just that pace, Terrific. That pace is really starting to up. Increase in pace and increase in offense and an increase in the amount of strikes that are connecting. The champion moving again, orthodox to Southpaw, trying to befuddle the challenger Pettis, who appears to be very calm, cool, and collected, and very poised. It only takes one shot from either of these guys. Both of them are landing. They're just not landing with that perfect thing. But look at those punch stats. 25 of 145 for Archuleta, 30 of 108 for Pettis. And Archuleta looking for the takedown, goes behind Pettis. Pettis looking to break the grip. He's got those hands apart. Nice job of getting himself centered back up. He's got an underhook there, but he's just pressing on the hip. Nice relaxed position. Go grab the fence. Head position, head position. Archuleta just, at this moment, this is the time you just take a little bit of a breath, use this position to say, all right, I'm just going to get my win. Let's see if I can get the takedown. If I can't, I'm not going to work too hard at it. And I want to always exit with a strike. That is able to exit to his right and then gets popped in the face <laughs> by that Archuleta jab. Good body kick by Pettis as Archuleta was moving in. <laughs> it's been a better round for Archuleta. He's landed some cleaner shots in this round than he has in the prior one. Bettis from South Pod delivers the right jab. Archuleta again coming in at angles, zigzagging and striking. Pettis, lead left hook to the body by Archuleta, but again eats the jab upstairs from the challenger. It's those angle changes when he's coming in that lateral direction that makes it very difficult for you to stop those shots that he's throwing. Sergio's doing a very good job of reading that. Centering himself back up, staying just out of range of times. We are through uh, three rounds in this Bellator Hanaway <laughs> Championship match. Stop. Clean break. So we head into the championship rounds of our main event. Juan Archuleta, the seventh person to hold Gentlemen, the Bellator Bantamweight Championship. The only two-time champion at 135 pounds was Eduardo Dantas. The title's only been successfully defended four times, three times by Dantas as things pick up here early in the fourth. That was a nice clean right hand that Sergio Pettis landed when Juan Archuleta came in. Right now I have this fight two to one right now with Pettis in the lead. It could, that third round was very close. I can see where judges could go either way, but I gave it to Archuleta for landing the cleaner shots throughout the round. I didn't see Pettis having as many counters as he had in the first and second. Nice clean left hand by Sergio Pettis there. Again, Archuleta, body lock employed, trim takedown. And Pettis immediately pops back up to his feet. Wow. A minute gone here in the fourth. That was a nice job by Juan Archuleta to get in on that body lock, get that takedown, and a beautiful job by Sergio Pettis to pop right back up to his feet. That is frustrating if you're Juan Archuleta. Jab by Pettis. Archuleta not moving oh. that much and gets tagged that with was, that counter right hand by Sergio Pettis. That was two right hands that landed. Pettis 
just looks for the takedown. Archuleta able to escape his grasp. But that's just a good movement by Pettis because it makes Archuleta actually have to deal with it. Oh, he'll actually try to take me down. Beautiful combination. Lance for the challenger follows it up with another sharp jab. You can see right now in this round, Juan Archuleta has become a much more linear fighter. You see how he's coming straight in, right. straight out, instead of creating those angles. Not a lot of movement in terms of the oh. angles. And again, he's paying for it yes, by staying in that pocket. No doubt about it, Moro. You're so right. That right hand just landed with clean power again. Again, Pettis able to counter sharply. And not expending nowhere near the energy that Archuleta is in terms of Archuleta's movement. Oh, and again, that counter right, John, is there all night. Beautiful left jab by Pettis. Again, Pettis is just being the sniper. He is waiting, he's looking for that movement, and as that movement's occurring, he's seeing the opening and tagging it, just like he just did again. Archuleta coming forward, but not having the success that Sergio Pettis is. And Pettis, there's a knee to the body. And then the exit. A minute and a half left in the fourth. Archuleta goes to the body with the jab, then goes upstairs. Now from Southpaw Stance, eats a body kick back to Orthodox. Goes Archuleta, and another stiff jab from Pettis. Pettis is just landing the cleaner shots and heavier shots. Yes. Final 60 seconds of the penultimate round of the Bellator 258 main event through the best 135 pounders battling for Bellator gold. One of the things that we've seen multiple times with Juan Archuleta, he has the power to end this fight with one shot. The problem is you've got to be able to land that perfect shot. 11 of Archuleta's 25 victories have come via form of knockout. For Pettis, he has three knockouts on his resume, but definitely bringing the counterattack to the champion. 20 seconds left, and again, that right cross by Pettis. Well, we've seen Pettis has power. You saw the shot that he knocked Alfred yes. Kachaki and down with in order to submit him. That was big time power, but he's not hes not even going for the big power here. He is just saying, I'm going to keep touching you, and they're eventually just going to start to add up, and it's working. This is the last round, more In my opinion, the champion, Juan Archuleta, needs to finish Sergio Pettis if he wants to hold on to that belt. Dwayne Ludwig uh, lowering the verbal boom <laughs> on the champion as we begin the fifth and final round. The title up for grabs here. And Archuleta, an aggressive start to the final round. My scorecard right now, like I said, I have Archuleta down. I have only one round, and it's possible that the judges could even have looked and given that one to Pettis, so he needs to get a finish, in my opinion, if he wants to hold on to that belt. Sergio Pettis, economical and efficient. Archuleta gets staggered momentarily again with that sharp jab from Sergio Pettis. Archuleta changes levels, looks for the takedown, drives Pettis into the fence. Nice job by Sergio Pettis. Get himself, turn in, gets the underhook, gets away from Archuleta. Now in the you know, fifth round, sweaty, slippery, not easy to hold on to your opponent. Double jab from the challenger, Sergio Pettis. And it gone here in the final frame. Joe Pettis taking small steps forward before Archuleta coming for it, but doesn't throw. There's another exchange, and again, it ends with the counter from Pettis. Beautiful counter left hook right there by Pettis, landing clean. Archuleta. 
Archuleta trying to get Pettis to bite. Yes, he was. Gave that little knee tap look. Trying to bring the overhand right. Pettis was already back out. Said, no, I've seen it before. You're not going to catch me with that. Pettis switches to orthodox. Way to the inside. Pettis holding his ground. Two and a half minutes left in this championship fight. Pettis, Pettis knows that when Archuleta makes that move inside, he's kind of dropping his head, and that's what he's targeting. You see him, he just takes a look, brings the hook, brings the uppercut, brings the straight right. We are down to the final two minutes of this Bellator Bantamweight Championship fight, and it's Archuleta lifting Pettis up and then bringing him back down to the ground into side control, John. Uh, he's in side control, but he's got to get out of this yes. inverted triangle position that he's kind of stuck with. I can't see if he's got his arm inside there or not right now. From where I'm at, it's really, yeah, the arm is there, but. Well, a position that the champion definitely needs to maximize. A minute and a half left in the fight. It only takes one, but Juan Archuleta has got, he, right now he's in that position of, I want to control, I want to keep pressure, but I have to actually gain space so I can do something with this position. He's unable to right now. There's one minute, get up, one minute, get up. Get up. Yeah, let's get it. Watch his spine. I'd like to know how someone knees someone to the spine when their spine is on. Under a minute hit. left <laughs> in the fight. Let's go, Moose! Hold it hard. Stand him on the door. Let's go, Moose! Let's go, Moose! There it is. really needs to go for something here. It needs to open up. Start to bring down heavy elbows, some hammer fists, something. To try to get Sergio Pettis in trouble. Right in, right 30 in. seconds right left in. in the fight. Archuleta has Pettis' back, has one hook in. Pettis breaking the grip. Pettis is in good position. He's controlling the wrist on the one side. Turns back in and hammer fists the thigh of the champion Archuleta. And it will be up to the three judges at cage side to determine who walks out of the fight sphere. Bellator, Bantamweight champion. It's another Friday night at the fight sphere, and we await the official decision. And with that, here is Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone five full rounds in this title fight, we go now to your three judges. Your first judge at cage side, Jacob Montalvo, scores the fight 50 to 45, while judges Brian Miner and Dave Peabody both see it exactly the same, 49 to 46. All have it for the winner by unanimous decision. And now the new Bellator Bantamweight World Let's Champion go. SP Sergio Pettis. Sergio Pettis becomes the eighth fighter to hold the Bellator Bantamweight Championship, joining his older brother Anthony as someone who can call themselves MMA champion. And there are the Pettis brothers. And for mom, well, Mother's Day just got that much more special because your son Sergio is bringing the Bellator Bantamweight belt back to Milwaukee. Duke Rufus, the trainer. Celebrating with his pupil at the age of 27, Sergio Pettis is a champion. Let's go to Big John McCarthy. Uh, 
Sergio Pettis, congratulations on a beautifully fought fight. Thank you, John. Thank you. You had beautiful movement. You did not extend in any way. Counters were working for you. You got to answer this for me. You have watched your brother win multiple world titles. What does it feel like to win that world title in front of him? Uh, it feels great, man. Um, he's been telling me I'm one of the best in the world ever since I started this. And to finally be able to join him and get my own belt is amazing. It feels like a dream come true. Big thank you to Juan Archuleta for this opportunity and for the fight. You're a tough athlete, great father, and uh, thank you for everything, brother. Appreciate it. Juan Archuleta is an outstanding fighter with a ton of movement, but you did not give in to any of that big movement. You just stayed very compact, very composed during it. You were landing beautiful counter hands throughout it. Were you thinking that you were winning those rounds as they were going by? Um, I knew I was just, you know, getting the better of the exchanges. He hit me with some good shots, but I know my shots were hitting a little cleaner, a little bit harder. I was very calculated, calm. Um, you know, he said there was a storm coming and there was a heavy, wa a heavy water tides, but I was out here, I was water tonight, man. I was just flowing and it's my night. It is your night. That makes you 3-0 here at the Bellator Cage. You are now the champion of the Bantamweight division. You're seeing all these guys coming for that belt, including one of them that fought here tonight in your teammate. <laughs> yeah. What is that going to be like? Is that something that you're, you're ready to do, is actually fight someone that you train with all the time? Yeah, man, I know Rob Fan's a great athlete, a great father as well, a great teammate. He's helped me prep for this fight. My takedown defense was on point, thanks to Mark Chowinski and Rafi on stats. Um, you know, it is what it is, man. He's got a family to feed. He's got another kid on the way coming up. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm not here to take away anyone's opportunity just because we're on the same team. I always have love for Raf, but, um, you know, that's what it has to be. You know, I guess that's what it has to be. But, um, you know, also I want to dedicate this fight to my mom. Thank you uh, for being a great mom, for uh, raising me the way you did. I wouldn't be nothing without you. Mother's Day is two days away, so I can't wait to spend that with you. Uh, thank you to everybody in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, my teammates at Rufus Sport, Coach Duke. I've been with you for 14 years, and it uh, feels good to finally get a belt with you, man. I want to tell you congratulations. That was a beautiful performance. You are now the Bell Bellator Bantamweight Champion of the World. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, Sergio, go ahead. I also like to uh, call out Horiguchi. Um, I would love to represent Bellator versus Risen. Ant's got two belts, and it would be a great opportunity to get my second belt as well. Sounds good to me. Everybody, Sergio Pettis. Woo!